This episode, beautiful little things. This flower that's budded on the end of this plant here. Look at that. Welcome back to the channel, pals. We are going to do a boardwalk today, 12 kilometre walk along a ravine and a river. Just took a stop here on the mountainside. The drive towards the start has brought us all the way to this spot here. Look at that view. Sarah de Estrella, not really going to get much of a better view. Camera doesn't really do it justice, but we thought it wasn't going to be the best of days. This is where Cortegada obviously is, where the mist is here in the basin and gives you a good representation of why this area is one of the hottest in the summer and one of the coldest in the winter because it is literally like a heat sink when the sun is out and also that stores up the cold as well in the winter so we've got the biggest fluctuations in temperature in Portugal here but I'm going to continue on and I'm sure there's going to be few more spectacular views today. Oh, this is the entrance the start here. And we've just tied our bikes up for when we finish. And we're going to park now at the barrage. What were you saying? Just eyeing up the, uh, the cycle route for the way back and it's uh, steeper than I thought it was going to be because there's a long hill coming our way. Oh. Good bit of exercise today. So here we are at the barrage, or the barrage M. We're only 25 minutes behind schedule. <laughs> <sighs> you might have seen us climbing up there in previous videos for a little view. And the boardwalk is down here. There's a little car park here on the road, but we just managed to get a space here. It looks like they're building something down here, so they might be trying to get more parking. There's toilets here and one two three four five six possibly squeeze seven cars in here so get here at a reasonable time if you want to start at this side so let's get cracking so what were you saying you were getting excited for this walk i was getting excited yeah when i was having a look online i was like oh this is going to be mint and then this morning when we parked up and i had to see the bike in the park i was like <laughs> Not looking forward to the bike ride back. <laughs> Hill like that for a good 15 minutes ride, constant. So, looking like yeah, I'm going to be doubling back to pick Jen up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a 15 minute car ride, not cycle ride. Oh, half an hour uphill. After this 12 kilometre walk today as well. Come on! There was a nice little Miraduro view that I assume Jen might be waiting for me in do you think? I don't think I'll even get to that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what this walk's about. So this is the little entrance booth wasn't here last time that we started. It's one euro per person to do the walk. You have to pre-book online and you might recognize this. The water spewing out there and you start down this ravine, there's actually a waterfall that falls right in the middle of this crag here. So, pretty nice way to start, let's get a walk on. So, we doing this whole route here? Yeah, where's, that's where we end. Of the month, that's where we drove through, didn't we? So, we are here. This is the boardwalk meandering through the valley and this is a river and alongside. Nice. This is a little spot that I found when I was looking for fishing spots that me, Jen, my mum and dad went and swam in when they visited one time so I think it passes there as well. Quite a popular walk by all accounts. So we're passing people both ways. Where we dropped the bikes off. There was a large car park and I think 
the majority of people come the opposite directions. This is as far as we got last time as they were doing work on these boardwalks. This is the waterfall that we will see hopefully soon. Portuguese got the jeans on today. <laughs> I have donned the vest top. It is sweltering. Quite a steep decline for the start at this side, right down the valley. Let's see the boardwalk there. Waterfall. Nice. And you can just see the boardwalk up here where you start. The large river is the River Mondego that runs close to Cartagada where we are living. Stitch already. <laughs> Thirsty work. Four and a half minutes in. She's got her hand on her hips. Yeah. Shadow of our former selves. So, once you finish the boardwalk, the first part of the boardwalk, the first part of the boardwalk, <laughs> you are on the dirt road here in the valley. Still pretty picturesque, as you'd expect. Hear the river running down there. Nice and quiet, but the birds are cheaping. And we will skip back onto the boardwalk a little bit further along. And about 15 minutes into the walk, once you get to the bottom of the valley, is the bridge that we pointed you to on the board at the beginning of the walk. And it's got a little cafe next to it to have refreshments if you so please. And if you're just going for a day out, it's a nice little swimming spot as well with the waterfall. 1.25 kilometers of 12 complete. If you are a little bit unsteady on your feet, take it easy down this, these roads because they are a bit unscrupulous when you are on the decline. And still on the tree here in March, unless they're a new through. This is the little swimming hole. And this building here is a cafe. We turn up here. So that is the hill you come down quite steep and slippy. So Watch your footing guys. The hill, just see the barrage in, right in the middle of the crag there. This way. So you will pass the old wool and carding factory. Along this newly laid road. And then we've got another wood structure here with Guarda. So what's this going to be? Looks like this is another entrance. Another, another entrance, entrance midway. So you don't have midway. to do... <laughs> hmm? well, Not quite mid. Not quite midway, but... You want to do a shorter... You want to do a shorter one from here back to where we've just come from. We are building a car park here now. So... Somewhere to do a shorter walk. And that is the entrance. 2.75 Toilets temporary for the time being I think but looks like they're building some form of 
calf potentially here by the river we're back on the boardwalk Levensies. Portugal is amazing. Pass another old factory here on the river. Back in the early 20th century, this is where they had them to power the mills for the looms. and carting different materials. Hydroelectric power station down in the valley here. Get brought out into this big wide valley river meandering through. Duro Alto Mondego viewpoint. How is it? It's like a nice swimming spot. So this is the Hatero Weir and Water Channel. Redial about Rex Water and this along a two meter channel until it reached a 45 meter fall. This force is what powered the potato hydroelectric plant turbines. Interesting. There you go. There's the upstream bund, if you like. Tell the pals that. This is the largest stretch of boardwalk. Pals. Pals. <laughs> <laughs> after the dam which powers the hydroelectric plant this is the largest stretch of boardwalk very impressed with the joinery I must say good quality good quality joins look at that precision on every turn Rest. So I finished that little part of the boardwalk, little rocky crossing, and a road bridge here. Me? Go on then. <laughs> so we just crops across the little road bridge and that is over halfway through. And there four and a half miles of seven. Let's get cracking. Second little rope bridge. That sandwich break? Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful scenery. <laughs> Just under it. The second little bridge. So we just stopped off for a little sandwich by the river and the second rope bridge there so we're getting a bit peckish freshened off in the water and for anybody who is interested in learning a bit of Portuguese sandwich in Portuguese is sandwich so there you go you did know how to speak Portuguese after all. And we're off.
<laughs> I just stung us right on the forehead. Oh, didn't like us videoing its house. Oh, there you go. Bit of action for you folks. <laughs> Botox. You're getting rid of me wrinkles. <laughs> oh, I think it does a bit. Handsome. Honey in production. 7.5 kilometers. At this point, there's a village up here called Trinta. And what can you do? There's an option to do like a shorter circular route that does Trinta and this next village. Uh -huh. board, part of the boardwalk. Part of the boardwalk if you want to do a shorter route. <laughs> Canada Mill. Maybe they made maple syrup. Thought you didn't make maple syrup, you just tapped it from... Oh! <laughs> All of that action today. You be careful. Come out with this nice opening here. Buildings in what looks like granite and schist here. Beautiful construction with the schist stone. Let me get a little close up for you. Oh, not just a footbridge here, a bit wider. I can't actually get up to this, but it is the schist stone construction up there. And at various points, they are going forth with the construction and infrastructure here. Got a toilet, don't know what this is gonna be. Potentially another little cafe or a seating area. So, things are moving forward on this walk. Nice place to be. It's the final stretch. Videmont. On the catwalk, on the catwalk, yeah. She shakes a little tush on the catwalk. On the last bend, and here is the car park at the other side. Let's get finished. leg. Got the brunt of the elevation here at the end as you do at the other side. Basically the ends take you down into the valley then you're walking all the way through. And Before the final stretch a beautiful cascada. You can do it. Come on up to the finish line. What's the scores on the doors? Just under there, three and a half hours. It's just under three and a half hours, but three hours twenty-nine. We stopped. Sixteen seconds. We stopped for a sandwich. Stuff for that free Botox, so not bad, all in all.
approximate time, they say four to five hours. So not about 30% off. Not that it's any competition guys, but beautiful walk to enjoy. How are you feeling about this bike ride? Oh, we'll go and get a drink of water and then get set up. So, after a quick stop and a brief discussion, I'm doing the bike ride by myself. Just decided that it was better for me to just stay here and keep the snacks safe. Uh, and I've just checked out Google Maps and we have one very steep hill. I can't wait for. Let's go! There you have it. One very steep hill conquered. This is the Miraduro viewpoint. I thought we'd be leaving Jen in. But this is the boardwalk and the gorge. We just walked up to go and get the car. And here we have Trinta on the way back to the barrage. M has a fuel garage here, and then the residentials around the corner, which I'm assuming will have cafes and the like. Oh, there you go, guys. Bicycle power, beautiful ride back actually. Very steep hill up the back, quite flat through Trinta, and I didn't get any footage. But nice long freewheel all the way down here, not much pedaling at all, and then finish it off at the barraging. So let's go and pick Jen up, get this packed up first. So this is the cycle back over along the Bondigo River. This is the hill of doom. Hello. Profit. Nice to see you got the bike dismantled for us. <laughs> I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> Rapid, how eh? You do it I don't know, you tell me. Well, you left at quarter past and it's three minutes past now. It's a lovely ride actually. Mm -hmm. That hill wasn't too bad. Oh, but I saw you have to go up the hill. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Did I look like I was struggling? <laughs> one way I thought you were still and I was like, oh, that's slow. Yeah. And then uh, through Trinta and then it was a lovely big long freewheel down the back to the barrage. Okay, let's get packed and go. So we did forget to mention that dogs are not allowed on the boardwalk, unfortunately. Some sections you can take them, but if you want to do the full one. So this poor little Ben has been left all by herself. Oh! This poor little Ben has been left by herself, haven't you? Got a nice bone for you in the fridge though, haven't we? Take Bella out, celebrate with a little fresh coconut water. Mmm, delicious. Let's go! Bella thinks it's a What she got? Oh, what she got? Ready? What she got? <laughs> Get him! Get him! Hello, what you boy? Oh, hello, hello, hello! Yes, everybody's so excited. Get him! Here comes the cavalry. Get it, that 
rock there, that one. That, that one. That's it. Uh, that one. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh.